My name is David Giuliano, I'm from Marathon, Ontario, which is about 13 hours northwest of Toronto. Now see, in Marathon they would have stopped by now. <laughs> I mountain bike, I kayak, I cross country ski. Great thing about where I live, I can do that every day if I want to. My wife's name is Pearl. We've been married for oh, 35 years. <laughs> Good, I got that. But we've been together since I was 15. And she was 17, we started dating in high school. The, the moment that you remember, or at least I do, is you're sitting there and the, the doctor says malignant and then he keeps talking, but I'm sitting there going, how will I tell my wife that I have malignant cancer? I, I really didn't hear much after he said that. So I had fairly major surgery where they replaced bone here on the side of my head with uh, uh, my clavicle from my back and uh, skin from my back as well. I drive to Thunder Bay, which is about four hours away, to get an hour early for my flight. Fly down here, usually uh, to the island. Yeah, I've been very fortunate in terms of my uh, physicians. My family doctor in particular, um, in fact, it was his saying, uh, I don't believe the MRI, there's something growing on your forehead. <laughs> you need to go see the specialists and uh, that, that resulted in it getting caught last time. I feel very privileged uh, in this small rural community to have David as both a patient and a dear friend. Our healthcare system has very clearly failed David on a number of occasions, but what impresses me is not only his resilience, but how he has come to reckon with his cancer. He's uh, helped both his church and others, myself included, understand how to better accept dramatic change and challenge. I forget that uh, I have a rather memorable face at this point in my life because everyone's used to it now. In Marathon, like I know everybody, and they don't, they don't double take when they see my face, uh, which is nice. When I'm not there, you know, uh, I notice People sometimes double take when I go by and I write, think, right, I have this flesh sewn to my head. <laughs> uh, in the case of cancer, so many people die having lost, lost the battle. Uh, and, and that just, that doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel respectful. It's not a helpful metaphor to me. I also think that there is an element of, I, as I understand cancer, it's, it's still part of my body, you know, and to alienate it, I have to make an enemy of, of part of who I am. We're very focused on the cure, right? A, a good outcome is the eradication of the illness, whatever it is, or the fixing of it. But there's also a broader term of healing, and they're, and they're obviously interrelated. Healed is more about completion, wholeness, and life, uh, a sense of identity, enlightenment. We should try and avoid suffering as much as possible, but there is sometimes a gift in it that, that there, there is a, an attentiveness, an awareness of beauty, of goodness, of tenderness, uh, that comes uh, through, through the experience of our humanity and our vulnerability.